नमस्ते दोस्तों दोस्तों बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स मुझे पूछते हैं कि इज ऑस्ट्रेलिया ए गुड प्लेस टू स्टडी जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कौन सी यूनिवर्सिटीज जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग के लिए ऑस्ट्रेलिया में अच्छी है एंड व्हाट आर द जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज आफ्टर यू ग्रेजुएट फ्रॉम द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑल्सो कुछ लोग पूछते हैं कि परमानेंट रेजिडेंसी के लिए पाथवे क्या है और क्या कोई वर्क वीजा ऑप्शंस भी अवेलेबल हैं क्या तो दोस्तों इस वीडियो में मैं आपको इन सारे क्वेश्चंस का जवाब देने की कोशिश करूंगा सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो इफ यू रिमेंबर इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई टॉक्ट अबाउट द ऑस्ट्रेलियन इंजीनियरिंग लेब मार्केट ओवरव्यू बाय इंजीनियर्स ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड दैट डॉक्यूमेंट टेल्स दैट एट द ग्रेजुएट लेवल जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग इज इन द ग्रेटेस्ट डिमांड so if you are a civil engineering professional with geotechnical engineering as your expertise or specialization then there are chances that soon after you graduate from the university you will find no difficulty in getting a good job in industry there is another interesting data which i would like to talk about that is if we look at the australian government permanent residency invitations uh, issued on 7th november 2024 for different occupations for the skilled independent visa subclass 189 you would see that for geotechnical engineer only 70 points were required so dosto 70 points 65 points is the minimum points you require to submit an expression of interest and just five more so this is again another data which shows that geotechnical engineering is in a really good demand in australia to agar aap geotechnical engineering pursue karte hain aapke paas already geotechnical engineering ka expertise hai and you are working somewhere else and you want to go to australia and get australian work experience permanent residency this is a great news that there is literally no competition agar aap ek civil engineer ke liye dekhoge then it it is 85 points 90 points or hydrogeologist 90 points ict business analyst 95 points so you can imagine that how less competition is there in the field of geotechnical engineering so as per australian uh, and new zealand standard classification of occupations the civil engineering professionals you know are divided in several categories civil engineer geotechnical you you might have seen in my previous video so what a geotechnical engineer do i think pretty much all of us know what we do uh, we plan direct conduct site investigations to analyze the behavior of soils and rocks when placed under the pressure from proposed structures which could be anything any structure and then we design the foundations for those structures so what are the key industries where geotechnical engineers work and are in a really good demand so one is infrastructure so in australia a lot of in onshore infrastructure development like bridges roads highways uh, as well as building construction uh, is happening and in that there is a great demand of geotechnical engineers second is mining engineering so again in mining engineering geotechnical engineers play a huge and important role आप जानते हो टेलिंग स्टेबिलिटी डैम्स जो होती है या फैसिलिटीज जो होती है उनको डिजाइन करना उनको मैनेज करना दिस इज ऑल डन बाय जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियर सो इफ यू आर ए सिविल इंजीनियरिंग प्रोफेशनल एंड वांट टू वर्क इन माइनिंग इंडस्ट्री जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग इज द स्पेशलाइजेशन यू शुड गो फॉर ऑयल एंड गैस इंडस्ट्री दोस्तों ऑफ शोर ऑयल एंड गैस इंडस्ट्री इज अनदर sector in which there is a huge demand of geotechnical engineers uh, offshore wind is the new frontier where the demand for geotechnical engineers is going to explode ye socho ki oil and gas koi bhi structure banta hai banta hai ya banta tha it used to be at a place where the maximum area you could say let's say maybe 
100 meter by 100 meter for a platform you do the site investigation do few tests and all that you get the data but offshore wind farms jo hai ye to bahut like tens of kilometers may fell away hote hain and you have to put turbines at different places so you can't do site investigation for each location but still you have to do at least at some points which actually increases the amount of work for geotechnical engineers to do the site investigation then interpret the data and come up with the design parameters guidelines for each turbine so the offshore wind australian government has announced several offshore wind farm zones and in future the demand for geotechnical engineers in this sector is also going to explode so another question is what are the top universities to study geotechnical engineering in australia so any of the group of eight members university of western australia monash university australian national university the adelaide university melbourne university unsw sydney queensland university of sydney any of these will be great they all have really good geotechnical engineering facilities as well as uh, professionals to teach geotechnical engineering i would also suggest some other universities like uts but i there are many others which i have not named what you do you go to their website look for the civil engineering department and geotechnical engineering to be specific and see what kind of research work they are doing and from that you will be able to see i work as a research fellow at the university of western australia and i would like to tell you why you should study geotechnical engineering at uwa well the uwa is ranked among the top universities in the world for ocean and mining engineering so if you want to study offshore geotechnics and mining geotechnics uwa has got dedicated centers for these specialization so there is a center for offshore foundation systems where i work uh, this center is dedicated to develop and do research related to offshore structures and therefore developing wind farms or oil and gas structures platforms this is the place you should study at in australia this is the best place in australia as well as one of the best in the world then if you want to study uh, mining geotechnics then the australian center for geomechanics based at uwa is a great place to study mining geotechnics now what is an average salary this is a most frequently asked question so from engineers australia labor market overview we looked at the data average salary for civil engineering professionals is around 127 28k for a geotechnical engineer with entry level experience 70 to 100k mid level 100 to 130k and senior professionals it's about 130 to 160k plus depends on the experience and particular role now what are different visa options for geotechnical engineering graduates as well as those who are working in geotechnical engineering field and want to come to australia to work or to get permanent residency so well there are two streams one is skilled migration visas uh, these are the visas which are given based on the skilled occupations uh, these are given based on the skills so in skilled migration visas first is the skilled independent visa subclass 189 we talked about it that just 70 points were required in the previous round to get an invitation for permanent residency it's a permanent visa does not require any employer or state sponsorship then the second one is the skilled nominated visa it requires 
nomination from a australian state or territory government and then the third one is skilled work regional visa in the employer sponsored visa scheme there is one skills in demand visa and then there is one employer nomination scheme which is subclass 186 again which is a permanent residency visa so there are these options available if you are working outside australia and want to come here and join the geotechnical industry but if you are a student here then obviously you would get a post study work visa and you can work on that and then pursue your permanent residency pathway so dosto i hope ki ye information aapko helpful hogi apna decision lene mein ki whether you should study geotechnical engineering in australia or not or what are different visa options what are good universities so if you have any more questions please put in comment